I have no idea what Daniel's going to teach you next, but I'm going to try to pay attention and ask relevant questions. So when I get confused, uh, I'll, I'll just imagine that if I'm confused, other people might be confused, and I'll try to ask those questions. But we're going to actually yeah. jump a little bit more into all this stuff. Some, some, some details now, yeah. yeah. So in the last video, I or, or maybe the video before, I'm not even sure anymore, uh, I explained that Goa divides stuff into resources and yeah. actions you can perform on that resource. So, so for example, here's a team resource, and you can and you can create a team, you can get a team, you can update teams, you can delete teams. You can it get, all reads nice. Yeah, it makes sense when you read it. Yeah. So, so on a team, you can create a team, um, and then inside this create action, it's got the details of how of when you're communicating with the app, what do you need to do to actually do this action to tell yeah. the, app, the app to do this action. So to create, so first thing I always do is I always make a description, short, a very short explanation of what this particular action is actually doing. Um, so for create, it's create a new team. That's very simple. Um, if it's more advanced, I might get a more detailed description. So like get all enrolled is not actually that clear. So the description is good to put a little more detail. Um, this description shows up in that swagger that you pass over yeah. to the front end, so yeah. it's good for them too. It looks like something we just saw in that nice graphical user interface of swagger. Yeah. So after the description, you uh, put routing, and this would be how you would, how the HTTP route would be to get to this action. So for creating a team, you send a post request to the base route. Cool. So I've got no nothing in there, so it's just the base route. Of the team The base API. path, yeah. So okay. you send a, that's send, the base path. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so for other ones, like say uh, get, we, you would go to slash API slash team slash team, yep. team ID. Yep, and the colon in there. So if, it's a, if, it starts, if a particular section of a path starts the colon, if it, yeah. it goes slash then a colon, yeah. Then that means this is a variable. This is a variable that you will be that the user can put something right. into. Right. Cool. Um, so, for example, for getting a team, you put you go to slash API slash team slash some sort of team a, team ID like one two three four. Yeah. And then that would be this action. Awesome. That's pretty clear. So so yeah, routing and then is uh, has the method get post patch up, uh, delete there. They, they all, all, all the standard HTTP and uh, things, and then the path. Um, then, usually, then you'll have payload or params, um, or both, um, or none, actually. Uh, they're all kind of optional, but the uh, payload and params are two ways to get values <laughs> into the action. Um, so params are uh, usually for a short amount of input, or for input that's in the route. So params has a param uh, has parameters in it. So for example, this particular params says I've got a parameter called team ID. Yeah. This is the exact same one that's in the route here, and it's going to be a string. Yeah. And here's the uh, description for it. So yep. the front end, so that whoever's talking here knows what this is. And then you can per you can give more precise details in here, but this is all optional. If I wanted to, I could just do that. Yeah. So, the, to get a, to get a team, you go to that route. Uh, instead of team ID, you put you'll put in some value. It's it's text. Here's what it is, and it's required. Yeah. Awesome. And so. And then that does all your server side validation and everything. Yes. And, and that's so, a regex right there. That pattern. And then and then yeah, if you want more details, you can put in a, a function, and you can put in a pattern for regex. Yeah. Um, there's also things like min value, max value min length, max length, yeah. uh, you can set it to uh, email on, emails only, uh, a couple different uh, validation uh, types. And then I, I put an example in here too. Cool. And does this have the thing like, you know, when I'm working in GoLand, I could just click on, you know, I'd click on param and it'd take me into the definition of that function? It, in, in Goa, yes. Oh. Yeah. But not in your editor, so we can't see that right so, here. So, uh, not yeah, not in Sublime. Okay. But, um, so so that's params. Params is params, and you got one or more param. Let's see, do I have anything that has like here's this particular one's got two params in it, 
and then because it's got team ID and user ID. Yep. Up there in the routing. In the route. Yep. yep. And then required. They're both required. Yep. Um, if you've got a param that's not in the route, then it's expected to be um, in the query parameters. Yeah. So if I had a param for uh, is full details is a boolean, right? Then you could get, then you could send a request to um, slash API slash team slash the t team ID. I'll just put team ID slash member slash user ID question mark is full details equals true. So because is full details is not in the route, it's oh, cool. a, it, be, it's a, it becomes cool. a query parameter. Oh, cool. And I, it's not marked as required, so it can be skipped. Cool. Um, so in general, you probably want everything that's in the route should be should be required. Yeah. Um, anything that's not in the route, your choice whether you're going to mark it as required or not. Yeah. Um, if it's if it's not required, um, then you can add in a default as well. So is full details defaults to false. Yeah. That's awesome. I think uh, I know what Go A stands for. Go A stands for Go Awesome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah. One, one, once you learn it. Yeah. It takes more to learn though. Yeah. Which is that that's one of its downsides. But then you uh, basically mm -hmm. design specification your mm -hmm. whole thing, and then it pumps out all of the boilerplate code. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you can swap out implementations if you care about that. So, yeah. So Topic for another video. Topic for another video. Yes. So, so that's params is a way to get stuff in uh, for in, in the URL yeah. is, is for params. Um, payload is for if you've got values in the body of your request. Okay. Um, I normally mark put my payloads into another file. So values in the body of the request, meaning somebody submitted a form? Yeah, submitted okay. a form right. or, the or JSON data in the request. Okay. Got it. It's, yeah, the payload of the request. So so to create something, you it, so when you create a team, you got to send in a payload of the create team params, which I've defined in a separate file uh, over here, actually, uh, create team params. So we'll get into the details of how to define that, I think, in another video, because sure. that gets more details. But basically, so, so params is input in the URL, payload is uh, input in the body, and then you've got responses. Uh, cool. So a response is the HTTP response type. So OK, okay. created. And those are uh, defined no somewhere content. in the Goa thing. Because... Yeah, Goa's got them all. Yeah. Um, uh, and then the second parameter is the response value type that you're passing back. So when you create a team, it can respond with HTTP value uh, created with the team media as the body, as okay. the response. Okay. Or it can respond with bad request with error media as the response. Okay. And team media, is that something you set up somewhere? So, so team media is, again, something I've and set up over media. here. Yeah. Cool. Er error media is a generic Goa okay. type for okay. errors. Okay. Um, Sweet. So. Very nice. And so and that's, that's an action. You just uh, route, payload, and or params responses. Very cool. Man. That's not too bad. Yeah. You know, like I'm not somebody who's full time, eight hours a day dev, mm -hmm. and like I haven't taught Go since last <laughs> May because my schedule got 86 for some reason at the college. No Go for like a year. Can you believe it? Yeah. Totally been missing it. And um, and so the only coding I've been doing is HTML and CSS. Mm -hmm. And I look at that and it's like. It's so awesome to have had some, like, because it hasn't been that long that I've really been code proficient, code efficient, <laughs> you know? Because um, I just, uh, I was cold fusion before, mm -hmm. and then just straight HTML, not even CSS. And so, um, you know, even me, who's, even though I've taught mm -hmm. at the university, I'm, I'm still relatively a newbie, um, an intro level kind of master. I'm a master of the intro level. Like, it's, I could read that, and it's mm -hmm. like, oh, it makes sense. And, not too hard to wrap your head around because mm. I like it. Yeah. Uh, after all that self-deprecating, <laughs> but it's also true. I'm not like I'm no black belt coder. Yeah. So yeah. Had I but world enough in time. <laughs> Sorry, I take right, you off. So 
that's probably all for this one. The next cool. video will get into uh, how to define these payloads and response types. Awesome, let's do it. Mm -hmm.